Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So today we'll take a look at how we can make an SMD stencil using the Chinese laser cutter. So I tried this a long time ago uh, and it didn't really go so well so I didn't uh, uh, bother investigating that any further. But now I really uh, need a stencil so instead of going and buying one I would uh, spend some time figuring out how uh, to improve them. So I tried a few different things before, both uh, just suspending them in midair and uh, cutting them. But that always results in the plastic uh, catching fire and that's really not what you want. If you put something underneath, like a piece of cardboard, it doesn't really catch fire but it still um, rolls over the edges so you get a raised surface on all the cuts. But also the plastic melts away uh, from the hole, so you get a bigger hole than you intended. And you can see these are supposed to be IC pins, here and here. There's a thermal pad in the middle, uh, but the pins are completely gone, so it's just a, a big rectangle. And that's because the plastic melts um, besides the laser spot, uh, so we need to figure out how to solve that. So it didn't take that many attempts to figure out what works. And it is kind of obvious once it strikes your mind. Uh, you simply put a piece of wet uh, regular printer paper on each side of the film uh, and it needs to be soaking wet almost. And then you place it on uh, like a piece of acrylic or something that you can cut into. And the wet paper makes sure that the plastic outside of the cut is kept nice and cool. And also when the laser hits the water or the plastic the water evaporates and that pulls away a lot of heat. So you need to add a little more power to cut it, but it cuts much cleaner. I'm using a power of 18% on the machine and also a cutting speed of 18 millimeters per second. I try not to get that too fast because the machine can oscillate a little bit and uh, this is very fine stuff so you want it nice and precise. Perhaps I should mention that the film that I'm using is just a regular transparency film for overhead projectors. Uh, you used to be able to get this everywhere, but now it's a little more uh, hard to find, since all that digital rubbish. So before you start, you need to get an image of your SMD pads uh, from your CAD program, of course. And depending on which program you use, that would be different. Uh, I'm using DipTrace, and there's uh, there is a way to export it, but it's as a Gerber file, so I just export a uh, PDF of all the pads, and if I use some through hole, and I did in this design, uh, then I just cover them up with a white uh, rectangle. Uh, it's fairly easy. And also I'm using laser draw uh, for the laser, and that program only supports um, raster files, no uh, vector graphics. So that's a big limitation. If you can do uh, vector graphics, then perhaps you can find some way of converting a Gerber file into um, some kind of uh, standard format that your program can read. The advantage of the Gerber, of course, is that it's exactly what you need since it is a solar paste uh, layer. So I thought about showing how not to do it uh, to begin with and then showing uh, the difference, but but I already showed you one of the first ones that I cut and I don't think there's any reason to repeat that actually. So what I came out with is a regular piece of 90 gram per square meter uh, photocopier paper or printer paper and then just some regular water and you just spray it and you wait for it to soak in and you give it a bit more, flip it around, do the same thing. And you need to be careful that you don't get any dirt onto the paper because uh, if it's something that the laser won't cut through, then you get a problem. So when your paper is ready, you take your uh, plastic sheet and you just uh, yeah <laughs> make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Thank you. 
and just do the same thing for the other side. And once you got it nice and wet and you got all the air bubbles out, you just uh, go and cut it with a laser and it will make nice and sharp edges. It is important to get the correct focal distance from the lens in the laser uh, to make the tiniest point as possible. Uh, and in my case it's about 3 millimeters from the table, so I just put down a piece of acrylic. Also serves as a, uh, a backing plate. So, let's go. And hopefully this will be nice and sharp now, so I didn't make a fool out of myself. Uh, let's take a look. So you can see at least the paper is nice and sharp here. Uh, it didn't burn away uh, between the pins. And if we remove the paper, you can see that there's still some space between. So I'm not sure how this will show up on the camera but it is nice and sharp. Yeah, hopefully you can see it now. Yeah, maybe this is better. So here it is after I punched out all the small uh, pieces of plastic and I just washed it with water and there is no raised surfaces on the edges at all uh, so it would work very nicely. You can see even the pins on the SSOP package is cut nicely. So I'm not sure how small you can make them because uh, this is my first uh, successful one, but at least an SSOP works nicely. When I first got the laser cut I also tried this and that was with an uh, SOIC, which is a bigger uh, pin pitch, and that didn't even work uh, without the water. So I think it's a good trick and uh, hopefully it will be useful to some of you. And if you think about buying a laser cutter now you know that it can also do uh, these stencils. It will only do plastic of course and not not stainless steel. Uh, that requires a lot more power. <laughs> anyway if you found it useful please uh, hit the thumbs up on YouTube it helps a lot and thanks for watching this video. See ya!